Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Andy at Westport Machine Works, and today I have for you our new 2023 drive shaft balancer. Uh, this machine will have incorporated into it the number wheel strobe system. So stay tuned and I'll show you how that works. Once the machine is powered on, you have your RPM display, your start stop, emergency stop, potentiometer is for your speed, zero to 3,000. Uh, you can see the number wheel is inside the wheelhouse here. And the welding drive unit uh, uses this belt, which just hooks, hooks on there when not in use. And when you're gonna use it, you just pull the motor forward, put the belt on, and uh, start driving it there with a little controller on the side here. And then when you're not using it, just pull it forward, release it back, and hang your belt. Now this is the tailstock of the machine. On here you have your 15 ton hydraulic cylinder, your hardened spindle, where all the fixtures made up to to hold the drive line. You have your contact here for the strobe, and that screws in and out. Uh, the wire is protected here in a metal tube. Uh, and down here are your bolts for clamping down the, the tailstock uh, when you're using the machine, pressing or balancing, straightening. You'll want that tailstock locked down. And on the back side is your dial indicator, a visual reference so you can see how far out of balance a shaft is uh, when that rocks back and forth. This is the headstock of the machine. Obviously it has the number wheel, has the motor. In this case, this one is a 10 horsepower motor. Uh, this is your contact or pickup for your strobe. And again, the hardened spindle here where all of your fixturing will be mating to holding driveline flanges or uh, U-joints. Um, let's go ahead and start this up. And this end here is about three or four thousandths out, so I'll advance the strobe and it will make a, a contact. And what I've found is when you make contact, you want to kind of just slightly back it out right now I'm lighting up a good good six and a half seven so just back it out stop the machine and right there six and a half seven we'll just bring it right up to the middle and uh, we'll place our weights right there And the Velcro straps are real handy. That way you can uh, secure the weight, but yet you can still rotate it around. And we'll bring it right back up to speed. I, I had it at just 920 RPM. And that brought, it, that brought it way good here. It's about two, maybe one and a half. So if it wasn't ideal, you would bring this in again and make another contact and it will display maybe a different position on the number wheel where we were six and a half, seven. Let's say it displayed uh, more like a four or five. So then all you would do is just rotate this weight towards that number and you kind of fine tune your balance that way. Uh, or you may have to add or subtract weight. This is the center bearing support, and it's adjustable up and down by pulling these pins and uh, relocating it into a different position, depending on a big truck drive line or a small vehicle. Uh, this is the pickup here for the strobe, and this is the ground bar that activates the strobe. So when you're using uh, the center bearing support, you just have to lower the ground bar onto the other aluminum ground bar. When you're not using it, you can just bring it up and tuck it away. And on the back, you have your dial indicator here for visual reference of balance. 
and your clamp is in the front here for clamping it down once it's in position. 